All right, so today we're going to do a little bit of uh, law creation for Robin Hood, my favourite, and yours. Uh, seems like Director X has been in the wars a bit lately, so we'll, we'll see if we can't lend him a bit of a hand and help him to uncover the law of Robin Hood, his beautiful creation. Praise be upon him. So I guess the first thing we're going to look at is the main character herself, Robin. Now, Robin is approximately early 20s, I would say. She's black, female, relatively fit. She has a job as a courier. She lives with her mum in the Sherwood Forest Housing Commission. Sherwood Estate, whatever it's called. Nottingham. There's not really much to say about her. She cares about her mum, I guess. There's nothing to say about her. <laughs> She's an empty slate, really. She's a rapper. She's the leader of the hood. She wants to move to the city where her dad went, but I don't know what her dad does. Is he still alive? It doesn't seem like she can go and live with him, so I'm assuming he's dead. Probably the second biggest character is the antagonist, the sheriff. So the sheriff is the sheriff, and she wants to do her job, and... She has a personal relationship with John Prince, this fella. She seems like a bit of a psycho. <laughs> that's about it. That's, that's all I can say, really. There's nothing to say about these characters. They don't really have much depth behind them at the moment. They just, they just exist. One's, she's the sheriff, you know? That's her there. She's the sheriff. That's her badge. Look at it. Pretty good. Pretty good. And what about John Prince here? Well, John Prince is wealthy. He's a property developer by the sounds of things. He owns, I think he owns Monarch Properties or Monarch Developments or whatever they're called. God knows. He's got a son called Chet. I don't know. It looks like he cares for him because he's trying to teach him the right things to do. But is he doing it the right way? Man, bit of manhandling, bit of tough love. There's little John. He's... Uh, a possible love interest for Robin and he's been in the army and I no one seems to have family or friends outside of the hood it's like they're in the hood or they're talking to no one I don't think I've seen little John have talk about his mom his dad his brothers his sisters he's very stoic I guess we have Marion. She's a lawyer. I don't know if she's like a community lawyer, like cheap lawyer, or if she's an actual lawyer, but she takes on the case of, I guess I'm going to call her mum, because that's about all we know her as. Like, she doesn't really... Hello, I'm over here now. She, She's Robin's mum... She's an activist. She's trying to stop John Prince from developing the housing commission units that are at for Sherwood and Forest. John Prince is a bad guy because he's rich. And he's a bad guy because he's got the ear of the government. The mayor. The mayor's in his pocket, I guess you could say. There's nothing to go on. There's no real character development yet. So John Prince is basically trying to push around the mayor to get her to allow his development of the Sherwood Forest estates. I guess that's bad because, like, everyone should have the right to talk to the mayor, not just the rich or something. And then we have the other members of the hood. We got Much. We don't know much about Much. We know that she works for a mechanic and that She's like an engineering kind of genius, apparently. She made a slingshot, so it means she's pretty smart. You can't, you know, who can understand aerodynamics and, you know, elastic and sticks and things like that. And then we got Alan. Alan, what a dweeb. I didn't actually know that his name was Alan. I didn't even pick it up. There's a, there's an issue with the sound in this TV show that makes it very difficult to understand what people are saying. 
and Alan is like a social media networking kind of guru. They keep having these things where they're like, oh, geez, who are we going to be able to find? Who'll be able to help us with this thing? And then eventually Alan pops up with like, uh, I know a person who can help us. And it's like, after the 10th time of having that same scenario, you think it would just be, who can we get to help us here? Oh, I know. Alan, who can we get to help us here? Because you're the social networking guy. That should be how it plays out. But instead it's like, mm, oh, geez, I wonder who we can get to help us. Then we got probably my favorite character. My favorite character is probably Tuck. Get out of the way, Mayor. This isn't a place for you to be. We want Tuck. We want Tuck. We want Tuck. Tuck's like a computer nerd. And it seems like he's got some spiritual connection to technology. He's at one with the all. Whatever the all is. I'm assuming it's like we're all interconnected through the internet or something. But yeah, he loves his booze. He loves to get drunk. And... He loves computers and he's got like subdermal implants in his hands so he doesn't even have to touch his computer. That's how cool he is. In an insane world, he's probably the most smart person because he's just as insane as the world is. Have we already talked about the mum? The mum's pretty one-dimensional. She's Robin's mum. She does protests, I guess. I don't know. Is she... Is she unemployed or is she like a teacher and at school holidays or something? She seems to be at home a lot and protesting. Um, she's like a community organizer, I guess. She wants Robin to not go to the city for some reason because maybe her dad got in trouble in the city. She thinks that community is the most important thing. She gets shot. She's in a wheelchair now. She's paralyzed. She likes cooking scrambled eggs because I saw her cook it once, so that must be her favourite. Um, she's a criminal. She's a criminal. She trespassed on John Prince's property and protested and then got arrested. And in the ensuing scuffle, she got shot and paralysed. So she's got a court case coming up, apparently. She's on $30,000 bail, so that's why Robin... Needs to steal stuff to get her mum out of jail. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good when you say it out loud. Um, she has a court case coming up. Or she should if she's on bail. But we don't know about that. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. I wonder if they'll go ahead with actually having the court case. Or if it'll just be thrown by the wayside. Like, uh, you know, there's so much robbing going on and rapping. There's a lot of rap. This here is Chet. Watch, ooh, watch what you're doing with that thing there, Chet. Oh, jeez. Oh. He's, uh, he's John Prince's son. John. John. That's, that's your son. That's, that's his son. And he's like a womanizer, I think. He's a womanizer. He's privileged because his dad's wealthy, so he gets to live in opulence. He's materialistic. He's shallow. He likes the, the ladies with the big personalities. He's, um, he likes shoes. And anyone who likes shoes is, is clearly an idiot. Um, he can't tell a real pair of Nike denims from a pair of regular Nikes that have had denim glued to them. This is Robin's sister. She's, I'm, I'm going to say she's like 18 because her mum wants her to concentrate on getting into college. She helps her mum out by making protest signs. I don't think I saw her in the protest. So she's not a criminal. She seems nice enough, like a, a young kid, I guess. She wants to follow Robin to the city. She offered to pay for Robin to stay in an apartment in the city. I don't know why she would do such a thing. It seems a bit odd. Like, why would you pay for your sister to go off and do something why wouldn't you pay for yourself to do it no idea she doesn't have a job so i don't know don't know how she's gonna get up the money this is a painting of richard lionheart who we don't know anything about they named the community center after him or they graffitied over the sign for the community center and put his name on it 
I mean, I'm picking up Bob Marley vibes. I'm picking up George Floyd vibes. It's a bit hard to say. They, they only mentioned him in passing so far, so I'm assuming he's going to play some big part in it. He's named after a major character in the Robin Hood lore, the actual Robin Hood. Uh, so I'm assuming they're going to have some role for him in this show. This here is one of the cops. Uh, what can I say about him? He follows instructions, does his job. Um, he gets chewed out by his boss a lot. I don't know what to say. He's maybe a, a little aggressive. He's not very good at flying drones, apparently, because he gets chewed out for the drone being broken, so it must be his fault. This is the other cop, and we know even less about him. He's not the one that shot the mum. The other one's the sh one that shot the mum. This this fella here shot the mum. He just pulled his gun out and, sh and shot the mum, and then when everyone was all up in arms about the shooting, he didn't shoot anyone else, which is weird. You'd think once things get escalated, he would shoot more people, but hey... This other cop, he gets kicked. He gets thrown into the garbage. He's nothing, really. The main star of the show, though, is Axe Infinite, Infinitely Fresh deodorant. They feature prominently, and everyone loves them. Can't think of anything worse than not having any Axe Infinitely Fresh deodorant. Did we miss anyone? So the main, the main characters are Robin, John, the Sheriff, maybe the Mum. The Mum might feature prominently, maybe. I think the main issue at the moment is that there's no real conflict. The conflict is all other people. It's all third party. This person did this thing to this thing, so then this thing is going to do this thing to that thing. Like, it seems to be the... John Prince is the bad guy because he wants to develop the land where... Robin's mum lives. I mean, is it their land? Is it not their land? What's the go? Is he going to make better housing for them? The houses they have are quite nice. The, Robin's mum's house is, is no dump. It's no hovel. I can say that much. I don't know how the wrapping is meant to help, whether it's meant to raise awareness. I think the people in the area already know about the ills of the world i think they know about the potential knocking down of their home it seems like the people in the hood if they're not talking to people in the hood they're not talking to anyone no one has friends family apart from robin these characters are very one-dimensional like they don't have any depth to them probably the person that i like the most is tuck tuck he's just he's a fruit loop he's a fruit loop they're doing stupid shit. They're breaking and entering. The the thing about the thing about Robin Hood is that Robin Hood was stealing from the government. The government was taking too much money from the people. So Robin Hood would steal the money back and then give it to people so they could eat. Whereas this is just seems like I don't know, what are they doing? Trespassing? Making music videos? Stealing money so they can help their mum? It doesn't seem very altruistic. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I release reviews occasionally when time allows, and a thumbs up would be a big motivator for further reviews. If you didn't like it, feel free to leave a thumbs down and let me know how I can improve in the comments below. Anyway, I'm Mixie. Thanks for your time, and have a good one.